It just came my name. Yeah. Okay. We're, this is now Saturday morning, the what of January? What is it? The, we are the 9th of January. Saturday morning, the 9th of January. And I'm with Martin. Do you want to introduce yourself, Martin? Yes, uh, I'm Martin Mitterton. And just recently, on the 5th, uh, no, not on the 5th, 7th of this week, I was arrested at home on suspicion of historic child abuse. This came as a bit of a surprise, I would think. Uh, a hell of a surprise. Um, I'm not normally stuck for words, but I was gobsmacked. Shocked, numb, you name it. All the emotions you can think of when somebody says that to you. I mean, I was taken to the police station. I was not allowed to make any arrangements for my dog. Or anything like that. Uh, the two officers obviously stayed here because they were... So what time did you go to the station? For half past eight. In the morning? Yeah. Right. I was kept in a room with no, not a cup of tea, no water was offered, and a, about a five-year-old magazine to look at for nearly two hours before anybody came back, and then I was kept waiting again, and then towards lunchtime, lunchtime I was taken upstairs and written the uh, um, the person's statement. I won't say victim because there is no victim, and basically it's. It's rubbish, but unfortunately, as the law stands, I've got to prove that I didn't. And as I, I can only prove it by saying I didn't do it. I haven't got a time machine, so it's it's basically my word against this other person's. You've no idea uh, whether the person is saying that any anybody else is involved. It's just you, is it? It's right? just me, apparently. Yeah. And how long ago? What? What? what well, this is it. Uh, apparently, it started from the person's age of eight up until 16. Right. Okay. And the person is now what sort of age? 28, 29. An adult. So yes, an adult. Is an yeah. adult. So it's very really strange because I see, we see these cases. You see people brought in for questioning on television, celebrities and all oh, that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you see this process taking place. Now it's happened to you. When, at what point did the police search your premises? When did they... I presume... I couldn't tell you because I was down the police station. So they came whilst you were in custody? In custody, yeah. Effectively in custody? Yes. And I must mention, I haven't been charged. You haven't been charged, <laughs> haven't at, been charged at this point? At this point. So... They didn't, as far as you know, they had no search warrant to no. search your premises. Well, well, I haven't seen no warrant or anything. They just come in and, and when I come back in, in the early afternoon, um, they'd broken stuff and basically tipped right. the place upside down. And I could do. do a quick whiz round now and you can see the flat is stripped of everything. You can see it's all, there's nothing on the walls. It's all, now, obviously you've taken some things down. I've taken most of it all down. But it's, it's empty now, it's an empty shop. Yeah, enough, but... The reason I'm doing this is because I fully intend to go to prison. Or you, you, you suspect that they will? That's oh, what uh, no. As I say, I fully intend to go to prison. Mm -hmm. For the simple fact, all through the interview, they... I mean, it was, it was more laughable in some points because they were just trying to make up stuff. I mean, all this... Uh, and every five minutes they kept saying, oh, we're not here to judge you, we're not here to judge you. You can tell us this and, and tell us that, which is... I don't even know why they were even attempting to do that. But when they eventually had to release me, um, as I was being led out, uh, there was an ordinary police officer in front of me, and he turned to me and said, when you're coming this way, just pull the door behind you. So I said, OK. And as I went to do that, I had a tap on my arm, and it was a... I can only presume it was in the back of the prison, so it must have been a plainclothes police officer in a suit. He had glasses and short, looked like short cropped hair. I didn't take much... But that's all I can remember. And as he passed, he went, you should be careful who your friends are, or words to that effect. Or you should choose your friends better. You know, something like that. Obviously. And then uh, they took me through to release me, and another one come out, and then he went running off to try and keep me, but they couldn't. And just for that moment, those three words or four words that he said to me, I realised then that no matter what, I say or do, I'm going to be charged. Hmm. 
obviously at some point you will need the services of a lawyer. Is that Was that discussed? Did they say they, they would advise you? Get... Uh, at uh, the interview, they kept asking me if I wanted an advocate. And uh, as I said, I've done nothing wrong, so not at this point. Right. Oh, thank you, Dill. Did they? I mean, did they say indicate how long this process is likely to go on? Because presumably the person uh, who's complained, no. they've made their statement. Well, they've made their statement, and I've got to report back to the police station on the fourth of February at eight thirty in the morning. Right. I mean, and I was, then I was told I will either be charged, or they will tell me there's insignificant evidence to charge me. I mean, I'm placed in the position which thousands of people are placed in every year that they know somebody who's been charged. Yeah. Now, I wasn't there when these alleged offences were made. I've got no idea what actually happened. I just know he was a friend, and I have absolutely no reason to believe that these offences took place. But a lot of people out there will have a much more hostile view, because oh, now guess. your picture's in the frame. I will fully expect it. Well, you know. well I'd, be, I'd be doing the same. Yeah, would you? If it was somebody else, I mean, it does make you think you should, you know, maybe work out stuff before you speak. Because it's so easy. I mean, the way the process that, the, that, that they put me through, I mean, there's no innocent until guilty. You're guilty as soon as you walk in there, yeah. as far as they're concerned. There's no way. Even in their, their mannerisms, the way they treat you, it's despicable. I mean, I mean, I, there was a case uh, in Jersey where a guy was prosecuted and sent to prison for uh, having uh, sexual relations with a very, very young child many years ago and went to prison. And I did think it was curious at the time that there could be no corroboration, as far as I know. Now, in, in your sort of case, presumably the question of corroboration does not arise. No. It's, it's the word of one person. Against uh, mine. Against basically. yours. Yes, and obviously some people would say that's fair because uh, people who are supposedly vict victims, as they are victims, if they are victims, they're placed in a very awkward situation, aren't they? How do they make a complaint? Well, well it's, I mean, the, the process is flawed anyway because if you, anybody can walk in and say whatever hmm. and you've, you're the one as being the, the accused you're then, you've got to try and prove you didn't. Uh, so unless yeah. I can build a time machine and take these people back in time, right? then it's just my word, and what can I do? I can only yes, say, right. I didn't do it. Because obviously there's no evidence, uh, no medical evidence to be brought, to be brought after all these years. It's, no. It is only the evidence it's, it's just the words of the complainant. Of the complainant. I mean, we don't want uh, the character of the complainant. I know nothing about you. You will know the complainant. Is there anything you can say on that? Is there? I mean, you, you've um, known the person obviously all. Yes, I've known the person all their life. Um, now, without sounding, see, I don't want to. Um, she, she's got a history of making these allegations. Right. Uh, she's done it previously, not to me, to some other chap, and. I'm so glad now, now that I know this, what's happened to me. I'm, at the time when she was making these allegations against this other chap, I was look, out looking for him. And if I would have got a hold of him, I'd hate to think what I would have done. Really? And it, it, as it transpires, the uh, police were starting to figure out she was lying and we're going to call her. And she went to another person's flat, and a very uh, an older person, and the old, the, uh, this other older person had the foresight at the time to record right. it and she confessed to making it all up. If the grim scenario, I mean, the, if the girl... Gets, it, it is going to happen. If I the girl gets justice and if you do go to prison, how do you think you might deal with that? Like I always do. Just knuckle down and get on with it. I will not uh, be beaten by these people, if, for want of a better word. But from your perspective, that will not be anything like justice, will it? No, it certainly won't, but what can I do? Mm. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing I can do to prove otherwise, apart from my word. And as I said, at this present uh, moment, and the culture that is going on with all this child abuse inquiry and all this historic stuff coming out, um, I mean, you're going to have a... I can, I can already told the uh, officers the scenario how I see it playing out. 
I shall be going down there on, on the 4th, where they will re-arrest me and charge me. I'll possibly be put on my mind waiting for the court. And it will be before, I presume, a, a judge and a jury, because there's no jury now, is there? I don't believe. Well, it depends. You'll go through magistrate initially, and then, you, magistrate, then yeah. you'll be referred to the Royal Court if yeah. they think that warrants it. And... Uh, well, no, I'm not too sure how you'll have two, works, I expect you'll have a, the lesser court, it'll be two jurats, I would suspect. Right, right jurats, right. we all know <laughs> enough about the jurats. But uh, yeah, I'm fully expecting to go to prison because I, there's no way I can prove, even though there's no way she can prove it, but because she's made the allegation, she's automatically in the right. Have you ever had any experience of anybody else that you know has been in this position? Anybody that you know has been... No. Charged with this offence, no. and then what happened no. to them? Nothing. No. Because obviously the question is your your housing accommodation. You would lose well, I'll all lose that. everything. Yeah, you'd lose uh, all that. Well, I I stand to lose, and I will lose everything. And your old dog here, who's uh, uh, well, he's going to be taken care of. Is he? Yeah. Arrangements have already been put in place. So, well, this is why, as you can say, as you panned around, everything's coming down and being packed up because I don't want it to be a burden to any of my family. Right. You know, because housing will come in and repaint, I'll do all that if I have time. But, right. uh, and then they can't say, oh, we're going to take money, you know, because we have to refurbish it or whatever, repaint it as they do. But then I lose all my income support, obviously, I lose my LTIA. But, I mean, I can, you can probably live with that at the end of the day, but it's my reputation that means more to me, I'm going to lose that. Right. I mean, I can get 101 character references, statements from, well, some prominent people, but it won't, well, I better well, not from some prominent people because it mostly led me in more trouble. Ironically, there was a case in this very building where there was a sexual offender and had to be moved from this building because they'd be on the child offense, the yeah. sexual offences register. Well, unfortunately, again, I was one of those that instigated it. William. Yes, you I, were, I put the post up downstairs. The, the campaign that there, against yeah. that person. Because that's what I thought. I didn't put his picture or nothing just to let people know with kids that, that he right. was living in this block. Right so, next to a kiddie's playground. So you'd be in that position? You, you Wherever I go, whatever happens after that, or whatever sentence I get, I'm branded as, I will be branded as a paedophile. Obviously, I'm having to present myself here. I'm trying to be independent. We haven't got the cl the complainant here. We can't hear. Well, her. no, I'm not. Yes. Obviously, I'm not allowed to make contact. But I, or... I, I will sound like I'm being sympathetic to you, and I am being sympathetic to you. Well, there's no need to be sympathetic. I don't need sympathy. Well, it's one's instincts are. Ah, well, this is a bit of a shock. I mean, this is well, uh, it is, and more so to me. I mean, but uh, obviously there were, there is the other side of it, isn't there? The, other... the effect it's had on the family has been immediate and devastating. Yeah, well, that's exactly what happened. But uh, yeah, anything else you want to tell us? Um, well, that's all I can tell you. Um, that's the information I've been given. Obviously, I can't go into details of her statement. No, but. Um, it is a really bizarre statement, to say the least. Right. I mean, <laughs> well, I can add one little note, actually. Um, I went to see my mother last night, and at the time, that her phone went, and it was uh, the mother of this child. And she come out, and again, my mother said, look, she doesn't want to know, and you know, she don't because they keep trying to come and see my mother. Obviously, they want to say their side of things, but my mother mentioned her sister, and this is what was bizarre again. Uh, apparently, I mean, I wasn't privy to the conversation in itself, but after the f conversation had finished, uh, my mother turned around and said, apparently, her sister had known about this for a long time. And I thought, well, if that was my sister and she knew that it was happening, why wouldn't you say something? Well, these are all, this is, unfortunately, these are the other side of the sexual abuse. This is what happens, isn't it? For some reason, well, these things get hidden, not, dis not exposed. Well, that's why I'm disguised. saying it now, because, like I said, I won't get a chance afterwards. <laughs> right. So, it's, uh, I will say to... 
whoever does look at your blog and see this, that the ones that do know me and know me well will know this is rubbish. And to everybody else, um, like myself, uh, don't be so quick to judge. Because I have been like that in the past. It, just one final thing, the fact that the policeman had you there, they released it. Before they released you, did they... Did they offer any support for you? I mean, did they... Uh, uh, I had to see the doctor before right. I was released. And he had to see what state of mind I was in. And I wasn't going to top myself, basically. That was his words, not mine. Right. And in the same breath, he offered me a leaflet, which, when I looked at it, it had um, how to stop child abuse. Or underneath that, if you have tendencies towards children. Right. Uh, I could ring this line. And I thought... You know, again, that's like saying, well, we know you're guilty. They are. You better take this. I mean, it's tr the whole scenario is tragic. If you did it, it's tragic. If you didn't do it, it's doubly tragic. It, isn't it? The, 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 like I said, the whole thing is... I fully expect to be locked up. I really do. Well, And the, the, the tragic thing is then I know, and I do know, and other people know that this person has done this before, and just for that instance, what's to stop her from going on to do it to somebody else? Well, we better stop there, but uh, we shall see what happens. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.